requiring me to wear a mask for the interview. You might ask why. Okay, it's a rule here in MUO. So here I am with our Miss Universe 2018. Come Hello. on! Yay. Nice to see you. I get another country universe season in a month. I love it. Mm -hmm. So how has it been the rehearsal for the show? Actually, Super so chill. Um, I'm sure it's much more stressful in the candidate's position, but as a backstage commentator, it's much more relaxed. Mm -hmm. um, but the stage looks gorgeous. It was my first time to see it, Kanina. Mm -hmm. So I'm really, really excited. I always get in the fields when I get to see the stage for the first time, see the contestants from afar, see them rehearsing, brings back memories, and also just the excitement for this edition. What are you going to be commenting on? Like Lahat, the whole show. Ah, so you mean every portion, every how portion. each girl did. Then you're going to be doing backstage interviews. Not necessarily backstage interviews. We stay at our podium, don't sa likod ng stage. Mm -hmm. It's not sorry, not sa likod ng stage, sa likod ng audience. Yes. Um, but commentating throughout the whole show. Yeah. So what do you say about the girls? Ang lakas ng batch nito. Okay. I really feel like it is. I wish the contestant profiles that used to be in the past years were available because. I want to also see how they communicate and everything, so I don't really have a glimpse into that, unfortunately. But I watched the preliminary competition last night since I was on the flight when it was going on, and oh, super impressive. Yeah. Like, um, impressive. The girls are great this year. So, so cut from 84, it's 16, and then cut to 5. How I know. cutthroat is that? That is the definition of cutthroat. <laughs> I mean, what did the girls have to do to, I mean, make that final fight? Because normally you can breathe a little bit. Now, okay, I can make right. it to the end, diba? Right. Right. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm not a judge. I'm not sitting as a judge. So I would think that it would be an accumulation of their performance up to that point. But I'm expecting it to be a very tough competition because there's so many girls in this batch who are performers on stage mm -hmm. yeah you can see it now yeah but from six i mean even the cut to 16 is a hard one because they're 84 i believe yeah, yeah. 84 contestants yeah then to go down to 16 and then to five oh my gosh yeah. i mean What's it's, it's really nerve-wracking but i think also a gift to the fans because we get to see the top 16 ramp in both their swimsuit and evening gowns that's right now what what's it like backstage the vibe and like the, the atmosphere the energy i haven't been backstage because the commentator booth is oh, behind see. the audience oh, okay, so we're okay. up on a platform yeah, so yeah. i haven't been able to be around the contestants actually yet yeah. i only saw some of them as i was walking here yes um but i expect that there's nerves there's excitement there's anticipation as is with every year mm -hmm. um, because just to imagine the accumulation of all their journeys maybe years or months of dreaming about this moment is happening tomorrow yeah. so Kat you know the, uh, the new owner and she's Yay. looking for a transformational leader so what does that tell you about the new Miss Universe that they're going to pick well, hopefully, it's a Miss Universe that will utilize this platform. I think that's always been the core of what the Miss Universe organization stands for. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, I really feel that they're looking for an authentic spokesperson, someone who communicates very well, mm -hmm. who can be a brand ambassadress and really yes. carry the organization well. And I'm confident that they'll find that in this batch. Yeah. Have you had a chance to talk to uh, Celeste? What do you think of her? I had a conversation with her before she flew. So we oh, had dinner okay. together. Oh, nice. Yeah, so okay. I'm really excited for her. She is really staying true to herself. She's told me that she's really uh, ensuring that her mental space is really safe and that she's she's comfortable. You know what I mean? Because yeah. the mental space can really be a game. Can you give her? <laughs> a lot naman. But what I really told her was that this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Mm -hmm. Prepare as much as you can beforehand. Because we had this, this sit-down, I think, two months before she flew out. Mm -hmm. So just prepare as much as you can and then when you get there, enjoy the experience, enjoy the time with the girls because it's a moment that goes by so fast. Nice. And how are you, Kationa? I'm good. I haven't seen you. What have you busy, been busy with? Oh, I just flew in from Australia to the Philippines for a few hours and then flew here. So I had Christmas and my birthday oh, with my nice. parents. It was really, really wonderful in Australia. So uh, rested and ready to take on the new year. Alright. Okay. Thank Thanks, you. Scott. Hi.